18 years, 18 years, you got one of your kids, got you for 18 years, he, she, they, or those ain't going away. They here to stay. And in the battle between you and them, you ain't winning. <laughs> I hit it in clear like I'm Taylor. Uh, dark on the glass like it's Taylor. Uh, Slip in the cold like I'm Taylor. Uh, don't give a fuck, I'm not Taylor. Uh, say what I want like I'm Taylor. My back kind of white like Taylor. Sweet. Taylor. Yeah. Welcome back to another day. In the old jazz era. I'm your host of the most boss, Taylor Old Jazz. You doing good? I'll do it pretty good. But are you doing good though? I'm doing pretty good. Today, we're here at. Story times with El Jazz. And I mean, I really love telling stories. I do. Like, I, I find myself to be a great storyteller. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I find my style of comedy to also be like very self deprecating. You know what I'm saying? I, I grew up watching a lot of uh, uh, Kevin Hart specials. And he, his specials is, is full of, full of uh, him basically talking about his own life and, and just making you laugh. Literally, one of his comedy specials is called Laugh in My Pain. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like when you do things like that, it helps you kind of cope with whatever happens in your life because you're just kind of laughing it off as entertainment and you use it as entertainment. So, you know, I like telling stories of my life because it's the life that I live. I don't, you know, it is what it is. You feel me? So, who better to tell you about my life than, than, than me? So, today's story time with all jazz, I wanted to really dive into a, a topic that I feel like a lot of people don't really get into like that because they just avoid it in general if they are people of what I actually was. So, the topic at hand is what it's like to date a single mom. Okay, I did it. I did it. I went into the trenches that a lot of people wouldn't go into. You know what I'm saying? That's like going to old block, bumping NBA young boy. Like I was outside, right? But it even it didn't even really make me to go out like that. I didn't really mean to go out like that. You feel me? But ended up happening sometimes you don't you know you don't really expect how your emotions to get into whatever get into you know what i'm saying so let's really give you a timeline for real so this individual you know we had met through uh, uh social media and then you know we ended up linking in person with the bang bang and it it didn't go nowhere because me i don't mix business with pleasure at least not in the moment right i'm about the business i'm not you're not finna, i'm not gonna flirt with you while we doing the, the business activity i'm not flirting with you i'm not giving you no look no eyes nothing nothing's going on we doing the work that you paid me for i'm paying you for whatever collaboration we doing the work after that when we when we regular people cool everything's done we go you know we can we can have conversations we can be cool whatever it is but in the moment that's not what it is i'm not jacking it you feel me so you know Apparently, you know, there was some signs being thrown. I don't I pay attention, whatever. So anyway, I ended up hitting up the individual right now. I was just going to take him out to out to a, a, a brunch or whatever. And then get to know her like that because I ain't really know her like, like that. We ain't had no really deep conversations like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'll go take out to get to know her. Boom. Coronavirus happens. Coronavirus happens. Now I can't take you outside. Now I can't take you outside because we can't go outside. Now we can't go outside. So it's like, damn it, how am I gonna get to know you now? She doing things like going on on IG live dates. I'm like, what's going on? Right. So I'm like, I, I gotta get up, I gotta get up in those. So boom. Start FaceTiming. Ooh, bang, bang. You know, you in the crib for two, three months straight. Like, you're gonna get to know somebody, especially if y'all FaceTiming every day, which is basically what we were doing. So boom. Within like two, three months, now I got a girlfriend. Whoa, I ain't gonna lie. That that's pretty fast. But at the end of the day, you're talking every day. So it's, it, it, within the month, y'all done, y'all know each other life story. Y'all talking every day. So now, boom, in quarantine, I got a girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Some people is, is at their crib spanking the, 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 the cold chicken. You know what I'm saying? But I don't got to go through that. You know what I'm saying? I have an individual to talk to. So it was nice, though. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we were, uh, were copacetic in the time which we was going through. But I will say I went into the situation knowing she had a child. Now, have I ever, in, up to this point, dated an individual with a child? No. So I didn't know what it was like. Now, did I even go into the situation trying to date this individual? No. I was really just trying to take him out to brunch and see what, went, how, what was going to go on. The, wor the fact that the world did what the world did was really just, it, it was impeccable how things happened the way that it happened. Because I was just trying to take him out to eat and see what was going on. Now, I will say, the whole, as of the internet dating, you don't get to see a person prior to before you met them. 
if you get the opportunity to see them in person, then you get to see who they are in person. Then you can maybe like link them more in person, see who they are in person. But the internet dating aspect doesn't allow you to see who the person is before you even get to them, right? That's probably, probably one of the biggest L's of the internet. You know what I'm saying? You don't really know who this person is before you met them. And you don't really get the chance to be able to, to learn because when you link, you probably just on on whatever type of time and you're already on, you know what I'm saying? So the way which ended up happening. Now I already knew Shorty had a child, knew Shorty had a child. Okay, but I don't know. I'm a person that kind of just, I be going with the flow of life, it's whatever, you know what I'm saying? Now, Shorty barely really made it, you know, I knew once again, knew the child was there, but during quarantine, child wasn't really all around all the time. So as a person that never really, I don't be around kids. I'm not, I'm not one of them guys that just be around kids. I don't, I don't know, like, and I don't, not that I dislike kids, but I also, I'm not like, yo, let me be around some kids. You, you feel me? Like I, I ain't working at daycare. I didn't, I, I stopped going to daycare when I was, you know, like whatever age I was, I don't know. Like, I don't know, I don't be around kids like that. One of the youngest in my family, I don't be around kids like that. So like, you know, this is new for me. This is all new for me, but, I'm, but me, I'm, I'm, I'm actually open to experiences. I'm, I'm pretty open to, to new experiences. Who cares, you know what I'm saying? Like, you never know what life is actually supposed to be, be doing for your existence, you know what I'm saying, in the timeline of your life, you know what I'm saying, so I try not to just reject things that come if I feel like, all right, maybe I, I whatever it is, whatever, we can take from there, so, but the, the, the child was not around a lot, so imagine, you're talking, you're talking to your individual all the time, that has a child, but the child's not around all the time, so, so it's not really very evident in your life, and then, all of a sudden, it just kind of changes, boom, wait, and then reality hits, this is, her son the man is gonna be around all the time all the time because what i now learned is even though the dad is alive the kid is gonna be with the mom most of the time that's a kid that's why all these things happen with these baby fathers the the, the the woman will more times than not end up raising the child if the woman and the man are no longer together and it's like wow this is something like i said I was going through this in real life, real time, real time. Imagine having to learn things that you maybe see on TV. You see them in, the, you learn them in the real time. Now, as a person that yeah, I've had you know been in relationships, and whatnot. This is my first time that you're now you're not really just in a relationship with you and your individual. You're in a relationship with you and two individuals because you got to go around two schedules and you have to help a person that had a child with somebody else. You got to help them now and essentially be the the at home father. Now, we was at a difference in age. Was I ready to be an at-home father? No, I was not. I was not ready. And I won't disclose the age, but I was not ready to be an at-home father. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of people are not when it comes to these, these single moms region. But at the same time, you know, there are other instances where it's like you can have a man like 36 37 you really got nothing going on with, with your life hey man you might as well get you with a single mom because what are you doing <laughs> brother you know so you might devour your, your life honestly so i will say there was a pros and cons you know what i'm saying i just really want to lay that lay those out for you in case you you really thinking about going ahead and do this because i live this it's a lot. I wanted to share this with you because I feel like there's a lot of people that, that don't know what this life is like. And I'm at least giving you the pros and the cons, right? Pros. Me, I like getting taken care of. So you get taken care of sometimes. You get taken care of sometimes because there is a lot of motherly instinct already there, being that that's what's given to the child. So cool. You're going to get some meals too. You get some meals. You're going to get some love because most times single moms. They want that family. They want their child to grow up around a family. So once you get the single mom, maybe not everybody. Once you get the single mom life, though, a lot of them they want to start to settle down their life, and they want to they want to try to get a guy to come into their establishment so they can move on and go get the picket fence right on the, in, in the sunset. You know what I'm saying? That's what a lot of them want. You know, not all of them. I ain't speaking for all of them. But I'm telling you, I'm sure there's a single mom that may watch watch this video right now that knows that that is a fact. Okay, so you doing that and whatnot. Some pros, you know, like once again, you know, motherly instincts, the love's cool. You know, you, you, you going crazy. You know, it's, 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 it, you, the, the, the child, child, children have a lot of love to give. And if they like you, they gonna get a love. They gonna get a love. They gonna spread the joy and, and, and happy times, which is nice. Now, I'm not necessarily used to that. I'm from New York. 
I'm not necessarily used to people kind of like being nice to me. Like whenever somebody is randomly nice to me, I'm just like, what are you talking about? I don't know. It it, it does something to me. I don't know. It just makes me like, what do you mean? Like you just being nice to me when everything. I, it's a toxic New York culture, but it is what it is. What you want to do about it? But kids, they just they just pour all love on you, and you just like, damn, what a ew, what's good? I don't know. Like yuck is a strong word. I'm not saying yuck, but it's like, damn, what do I do about this? This is so much affection. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's dope though, because you know they just they're gonna give it to you regardless of whether you whether or not you want to take it. And children, this is about to sound crazy, and it's not even high. Like I said, I don't even be around kids. But children be they 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 mess me. They they like me for whatever reason. I could be chilling, but they be they be you know on me for whatever reason. Yeah, I be chilling. I don't be doing nothing. I ain't giving them no candy, nothing. I be over there on my phone relaxing. They just feel my bobs, I guess. But so you know you gotta got a little partner. The cons. Let's keep it a hundred. There are erogenous zones that would like to be pursued or just date nights, times that you want to spend with your individual. The child is never going away. The child not going away. 18 years, 18 years. You got one of your kids got you for 18 years. He, she, they, or those ain't going away they here to stay and in the battle between you and them you ain't winning <laughs> you ain't winning honestly i don't see how you win essentially because it's like to me if you if you give too much authority it's like yo who you think you is but then if you don't give enough authority it's like yo you're supposed to be like the authority figure it's like where do we go how do we do this and it's for me right and i'm only speaking for me like i said we had story times with OJS. Well, story times with OJS. Uh, how am I, I? I don't, you know, be around children, so I don't want to be an authoritative figure to a child that already has their father in the life. Now, I don't want the household. I'm not for the household not having the father around if the father is alive. I'm not for that. So I don't want to fill that void of that alive father that that alive father should be taking the responsibility for. That's just not me. That's not me. I better treat you like my little homie. Cause your dad, you need to go see your father. You came out of his swimsuit zone, not mine. Now I might be able to treat you like, like you my family. Cause I got people that, that you know, not my family, but they my family, you feel me? So I could treat you like fam, but you're not my son. You feel what I'm saying? But like, you know, you, you, if you I, I just, I'm all for the actual father still being very present in their children's lives. That's just where I go about it. And kind number two, you get into issues with the baby father that you would even want or ask for. Now you in baby father mother drama you ain't asked for. I didn't, I didn't ask for it. Homie mad at me for being around. And I'm sure that happens in both situations, the baby mother or the baby father. Now you as the person that's not even a part of either one of these families for real, is in all the drama. You didn't ask for that. You didn't ask for that. I know you didn't ask for that. But you know, if you if you can weather the storm, I'm sure it's nice. I'm sure it's pretty on the other side. Cause every obstacle can be dodged and jumped over if that's what you really are looking for. Me personally, not what I was looking for. So I let the obstacle stay and I turned back around. But I just wanted to express what my life is like in that aspect. That's what it was, you know. I, I I do feel like there's a lot of people that that are curious about what that life is like, and you can still tackle it. I'm not telling you don't tackle it, because at the end of the day, I did it. You know what I'm saying? Who would I be to tell you not to do it? And I and I did it. You feel me? So it, it is what it is. Would enter at your own risk, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Taylor Elojas. Definitely go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Taylor L. Jazz, also on YouTube, Taylor L. Jazz Vlogs. Subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so you know every time I drop a new video. My name is Taylor L. Jazz, and you're watching Story Times with L. Jazz. 
it's the Big Reaper and I'm back for the killing When I get on the track, say what I'm actually feeling I'm a murder baby, you my next victim maybe Don't nobody, don't believe me when I say that I'm crazy